Amen. Ephesians chapter 2, verses 1 through 6. Let me pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for all that you are doing in the midst of us. We thank you, Father. Hallelujah. That we're able to call on your name anytime. You have given us access to your throne. We thank you, O oh God, for sending Jesus, hallelujah, who made a way that we could come boldly unto your throne of grace and that we could obtain mercy and find grace to help in our times of need. We give you praise for every testimony, every song, everyone that has gathered themselves together as one body to lift you up today. Oh, Father, we adore you today. Now, Father, as we go into your word, help us not only to be hearers of your word, but to be doers of your word. Help us to execute Walk this word out so that we may be read and seen of men as living epistles. Help your word to become flesh in us today. Hallelujah. Then help us, Father, to let our light shine before men that they may see our good works and give you the glory, our Father who lives in heaven. Father, we pray as your word goes forth that it will prick some heart hallelujah that someone will surrender today hallelujah and ask what must i do hallelujah to be saved father touch those that are weary today that are tired hallelujah and cause them to come to you hallelujah for you have rest hallelujah that no one else can give us i hear your word saying come unto me all ye that labor and are heavy laden and i will give you rest take my yoke upon you and learn of me for my yoke is easy and my burdens are light we thank you god for who you are today in our lives and it is in the strong name of jesus christ that we pray and ask these things in jesus name amen and amen ephesians chapter 2 verses 1 through 6 here beginneth the reading of god's word watch this now and take it personal and you hath he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins wherein in time past ye walked according to the course of this world Yes, you did. Yes, I did. According to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience, among whom also we all, I don't care what you say, hallelujah, the Bible says, among whom also we all, had our conversation in times past in the lust of the flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. Mm. But God, I was somebody, amen, right there, right there, right there there right there hallelujah i wish you would say but god hallelujah but god he interrupted what i was doing somebody said but god that's what i want you to take away today but god but god but god amen when you begin to think and i'm gonna get back in this text when you begin to think, amen, of, of what could have been, hallelujah, sometimes we need to just stop and think what, what could have been, amen, who he saved you from, what he put you up and out of, somebody say, but God, I'm losing it, I'm losing it already, hallelujah, amen, the word of God is so good. Verse four, again, the writer says, but God, who is rich 
in mercy for his great love wherewith he loved us. Watch this. Even when we were dead in sins hath quickened us together with Christ. Watch this. Don't get it twisted. It's not about what you do. Amen. By grace are ye saved. Verse 6. And hath raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. So says the scriptures. I believe, amen, hallelujah, before we say anything else, I want everybody to unmute your mic. Oh, glory to God. And give God, amen, a good God praise. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Mute up, everybody. Mute up. Mute up. There's Hallelujah. Oh, God, I thank you. I bless your holy name. My God from glory. Let me get to this text, y'all. It blessed me. Listen, I tell you, the word of God, as it is written here in the book of Ephesians chapter 2 and verse one verses one through six, it bless my soul. I want a title. I know you all think this is uh, the message is titled, but God, but I want to, I want to title it today, the condition. Uh -huh. Write that down. Those of you that are taking notes. Amen. Those of you that are, I, I see you, Elder Melvina. Amen. I, I praise God for a, but God praise, but I want to talk about Amen. This is what the Lord gave me. Amen. That was my praise for him. That but God was my praise for him. Amen. This is what the Lord gave me to title this, The Condition. That's all. I don't want no big old long title. I just want something uh, uh, nice and neat and short. Amen. That you can take away. Those of you on Facebook, I need somebody to type. Amen. The Condition. The Condition. The Condition is what we're going to talk about today. Hallelujah. And again, I bless God, amen, for uh, uh, the reading of this text. It blessed me so, amen. Uh, I got so much joy, my God, out of reading this passage of scripture, amen, Ephesians chapter 2, verses 1 through 6, six amen. There is nothing deep about this passage, amen. Nothing needs to really be unpacked. Amen. It speaks volumes on its own. Hallelujah. You don't hardly need no commentary for it. Amen. Hallelujah. It is very clear. And hear me today. It is very clear in identifying who we were. Come on. And whose we were and how we got out of the mud. Whoosha! Glory to God. Can I say it again? This text is very clear on who we were. That's past tense. Whose we were, who we used to belong to. That's past tense. And how we got out of the mud. How we were picked up, amen, from a low place and made to sit in a high place it baffles my mind hallelujah amen as i looked at the book of ephesians i'm going to try to amen calm my nerve this I, I just feel god i feel his presence and and i just have a praise as we always say when we think amen we think hallelujah and it just fuels my praise Hallelujah. And it's sometimes hard to contain it. When we look at the book of Ephesians, I'm not going to be long here. Amen. Uh, chapters one through three in Ephesians chapters one through three, we look at us being seated. When we look at chapters four and five, chapter four and five teaches us how to walk. Hear me good. Again, chapters one through three deals with us being seated. 
and then chapters four and five tells us how to walk and then chapter six the spiritual warfare chapter tells us how to stand and so everything is covered tells us how to be seated where we're seated how we are to walk and then how we are to stand amen when we look at the book of ephesians this church was founded by Paul. And overall, the overall message of the book of uh, Ephesians, it was not written to address any specific issues. Other letters that Paul wrote, they were dealing in, uh, uh, honing in, if you will, on specific issues. But Ephesians, I mean, this letter is a little different. It's not dealing with any a specific church issue, if you will. It was just an expression of the deep love that Paul felt for his converts. This book, amen, was meant to encourage them, hallelujah, to remain steadfast in the faith and to attain, amen, to attain, to achieve, to accomplish, to conquer and to get all that their heavenly father amen has for them in other words amen he was telling them to attain all their heavenly privileges in jesus christ hallelujah hallelujah to the lamb of god and so amen chapter two this chapter reminds us it should be a reminder not only to the church at ephesus amen but it should be a reminder to all of us who name the name of jesus christ watch this not to forget our condition and where we were before the invitation Oh my God, I feel God in this place. This book, these verses that we read, verses one through six, is a reminder for us not to forget where we were, amen, before God's invitation to salvation. I told you before, amen, that our call to salvation was an invitation for participation in the reason for your creation. Can I say that again? Our call to salvation is an invitation for participation in the reason for your creation. Listen, in case you don't understand, we were created to bring God glory. Somebody clap your hands and say, I was created to bring God glory. The Bible says in Colossians chapter one, verse 16, for by him, were all things created that are in heaven and that are in the earth. Those things that are visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, watch this, all things were created by him and for him. Somebody give God praise and say, I was created to bring God glory. Can we take a praise break? right here hallelujah come on and say i was created you know people struggle with why they were put here on this earth let me help you ma'ams and sirs you were put here on this earth amen to give god glory you were put here you were created to give god praise when you move around in the marketplace uh, you are an advertisement whether you want to be or not that god is a good god oh i wish i had a church in here hallelujah say i'm a walking advertisement uh, hallelujah i am the word made flesh just like jesus uh, came to this earth as the word made flesh wherever i go i'm the word made flesh when i go to kroger come on i'm the word made flesh oh i wish i had a church in here that loves god does anybody love him today hallelujah because he loved you first 
my god from glory i'm not gonna be long i love this text here amen understand hallelujah we were created to bring god glory i see you cassandra i see you amen cassandra said i was created to give god all the praise the glory and the honor daphne says and without him nothing made that was made she said without him wasn't anything made it was all made by him and we were created to give him the glory hallelujah somebody shout hallelujah in this place hallelujah now listen this text it lets us know, Sister Irene, that we were all dead. Oh, my God. Before Christ, hallelujah, this text lets us know you may have been thinking you were doing your thing. Hallelujah. Maybe you thought you were the thing. But this text lets us know that before Christ and without Christ, amen, we are all dead. Don't miss that today. The Bible said that we were dead in trespasses and sins. Amen. The text says in verse number two that in time past, hallelujah, we walked according to the course of this world. We walked, amen, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. Listen child of God, amen, your sin may not have been my sin, and my sin may have not been your sin, amen, you, 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 you may have like, amen, a certain kind of drug that you became addicted to, my sin was alcohol, I became addicted to alcohol, amen, uh, uh, somebody else, amen, might have been a whoremonger, amen, my sin, that kosha, Hallelujah. May have not been your sin and your sin may have not have been my sin. Hallelujah. For some of us, amen, God had to reach, amen, into the deeper muck and the mire. Come on, somebody to pull us up and out. Amen. And this text, amen, ought to cause us, amen, to have a flashback. Oh, hallelujah. It should, amen, cause us, amen, to, to look back every now and then and, and, and bless God, amen, that you're not, amen, where you used to be, amen. Uh, uh, it causes us, it ought to cause us, amen, to look back just for a moment, not like Lot's wife, Amen. Looking back and wanting to stay there. But beloved, I, be, I believe it would behoove us every now and then, amen, to throw our head back and just take a quick look back on where God brought you from. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says that we all had our conversation in times past hallelujah in the lust of our flesh have i got a church here now when the bible uses this word conversation i thank god for the blood right now when the bible uses this word conversation amen it deals with lifestyle I bless God this morning that he didn't leave me where he found me. Oh, I'm so grateful. So we all had, I don't care who you are right now. Hallelujah. Some of us, amen, get here and forget a kosha amen where god found us where he picked us up from some of us were in quicksand some of us were in the muck and the mire but god picked us up pulled us up hallelujah and cleaned us up i'm thankful for this text that makes us look back Hallelujah. Amen. And when we do, amen, it brings us to a place of humility because you will realize you didn't deserve 
deserve the love of God, but he loved us in spite of. Somebody said he looked beyond all of my faults, all of my mess, and he picked me up. He chose me. He adopted me in spite of. Oh, hallelujah. The Bible says again, we all had our conversation, our lifestyle in times past, um, in the lust of our flesh, uh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. In other words, hallelujah, before Christ, we were doing what we wanted to do, when we wanted to do it, how we wanted to do it, and who we wanted to do it with. Before Christ, hallelujah, when I got up in the morning, uh, I was thinking about how I can get into sin, but I thank God for the blood. This text causes us to look at the condition that we were in before Christ. Uh, hallelujah. May I tell you, ma'ams and sirs, uh, there's nothing like the praise uh, that is generated, amen, when you compare where you were to where God has brought you. Mm, my God, listen, I believe, amen, you can't even give God, amen, the kind of praise, the kind of worship until you look back at your mess, until you look back at your condition before God found you. Somebody give God praise right here. Listen, let's get back to the text. Here's the turn. Hallelujah to God. You know, God always allows us to see both sides of the matter. Here's the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God. Hallelujah. He lets us look at the condition that we were in. Amen. Even John 10 and 10 lets us see the whole picture. Uh, John 10 and 10 says, ah, uh, the thief comes, but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy, but I have come that they might have life and have it more abundantly. Let's turn it. Hallelujah. We looked at our condition. Hallelujah. How we were men most miserable before Christ. Uh, hallelujah. How that we had our conversation uh, in the lust of the flesh. Uh, how we were fulfilling uh, the lust of the flesh. In other words, anything that our flesh wanted to do, amen, we agreed with it. Uh, you know, the Bible says wherever two shall agree, you must understand that works two ways. Amen. Before Christ, my mind said how much dirt I could get into and my body came into agreement with my mind and we carried it out before Christ. Somebody shout before Christ. Let's turn the record. Verse four says, but God, hallelujah, my God. Somebody shout it again, but God, but God. See, we had a before Christ. We understood our condition before Christ. We understood that we were lost before Christ. We understand that we were dead, even glory to God. If you think you are alive without Christ, you are the walking dead. We understand that our condition was dead. We were dead in trespasses and sin. But God, the Bible says, who is rich in mercy. I think that's a place to praise him. Hallelujah. He looked at your condition, baby. He looked at your condition. Hallelujah. And he knew that I'm the antidote. I'm the help for your condition. Somebody shout, but God. Hallelujah. I'm in verse number four. But God, who is rich in mercy, 
Think about it. Think about it. He never runs out of mercy. He never runs out of his supply of mercy. He knew that we would always need his mercy, even after we were saved, we would be in need of God's mercy. The Bible says, but God is Diosa, who is rich in mercy for his great love wherewith he loved us. Listen, let me tell you about mercy, hallelujah, and grace. I call them the salvation twins. Mercy, Brother Eddie, and grace are similar, amen, hallelujah, but they're not quite the same. Can I say it again? They're kosher. I thank God that they come together. I thank God that mercy and grace are twins. I thank God that where grace abounds, hallelujah, Hallelujah, a uh, love uh, much more abounds. Where sin abounds, uh, grace much more abounds. Uh, I thank God that wherever grace is, echo shah, hallelujah, mercy is nearby. I wish I had me a church here today. Mercy and grace uh, are always in the same vicinity. Yes, mercy and grace uh, are similar, Brother Eddie, but they're not quite the same. Uh, let me tell Tell you what the difference is. Uh, grace, uh, hallelujah, is getting what we don't deserve. Oh, my God from glory. Hallelujah. Thank God for grace and thank God for mercy because grace, uh, hallelujah, is getting what we don't deserve. Grace is getting what we do not deserve. Somebody ought to thank God, amen, for the dispensation that we are in called grace uh, and say grace is getting, hallelujah, what I do not deserve. Amen. Mercy, on the other hand, is not getting what we do deserve. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Uh, and thank God for grace. Uh, thank God for mercy. Grace is getting uh, what we don't deserve, uh, while mercy uh, is not getting uh, what we do deserve. Uh, hallelujah. I thank God today that he didn't wait uh, for us to get better. I thank God today that God didn't wait for us to do better. I thank God today that God didn't wait for us to feel better. As the song said, down through the years, God has been good to me. Somebody give God praise. Let me tell you, let me remind you what our condition was. Let me remind you what the condition was in the text. We were dead. Wherever there's something dead, amen, there's something smelling. Where Wherever there's something dead uh, as we were. That's why I give him praise because uh, I look back at where God brought me from uh, and I thank God that he extended his grace uh, and his mercy to me. I didn't deserve it, uh, but he loved me anyhow. All of my life, uh, God was in love with me uh, in my dead situation. Uh, I was stinking. Somebody said I was sinking deep in sin, far from the peaceful shores. I was very deeply stained within. I was sinking to rise no more. But the master, there's another but, but the master of the sea heard my despairing cry and from the waters he lifted me. Now safe am I. Somebody give God praise. Our condition was that we were dead. Our condition is that we were stinking. Our condition was that rigor mortis has set 
that in uh, until God uh, blew the breath of life. Uh, that's what happens uh, when we accept Christ. Uh, he blows the breath uh, of life in us. Uh, I hear Nicodemus uh, asking Jesus, uh, how can a man uh, be born again uh, when he is old? Uh, can he enter back uh, into his mother's womb uh, and be born again? Uh, I hear Jesus uh, telling Nicodemus, uh, marvel not Nicodemus, uh, you must be born again uh, of the water uh, and of the spirit. Uh, I thank God that he blew the pneuma, hallelujah, the breath of life uh, in me uh, in the beginning. Uh, Hallelujah, man became a living soul because God blew the Ruach, the wind of God. I thank God for the pneuma, the breath of God that's been blowed in us. I see Ezekiel standing in the valley, the valley that was full of dry bones. And I hear God telling the prophet Ezekiel to prophesy unto the wind. Shia, prophesy uh, to the wind, uh, to the east wind, the west and north uh, and the south uh, and command uh, these bones to live. Uh, that's what happened. Uh, but God, uh, who is rich in mercy uh, and amazing in grace, uh, somebody give God praise. Hallelujah, for the condition is no more. Now, hallelujah, that we have diagnosed, uh, hallelujah, the condition, I feel God. Now, hallelujah, that we have looked back, Eshataya, hallelujah, and recall, amen, where God brought us from. Now, see, I'm hearing lamentations right now. Jeremiah wrote, in the book of Lamentations, he said, this I recall to my mind, and therefore I have hope. I have hope. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed, for his compassions fail not. They are new every morning, and great is his faithfulness. Now that we have diagnosed we have identified, we have looked back, we have examined the condition. Now let's look at our position. Somebody give God praise. The Bible says in the final verse, verse number six, this is our position. Thank you, Holy Ghost. This is our position. This is where we are right now. This is why we praise him. Him, uh, because he didn't leave us in our condition. Uh, hallelujah. He changed our condition. He changed the diagnosis. Hallelujah. And gave us a new position. Mm. Oh my God, I thank you. Verse number six says, uh, and he has raised us up. Uh, that's a place right there you can give God praise. Uh, he has raised us up uh, together. And watch this. Uh, and made us. Shanda. He made us. Uh, somebody type it on the screen and say, he made me. Hallelujah. Not only did he pick me up, uh, not only did he see me in my sin and my my transgressions. Uh, not only did he see me sitting there polluted in my own blood, uh, not only did he clean me up, pick me up, love on me, but he made me, Kaya he made me to sit together, oh, I thank God, in heavenly places, in Christ Jesus. Somebody give God a praise. Uh, 
Look at the text. You see the condition. And now you should see your position. Hallelujah. Not uh, of anything that we have done. Not of our own goodness. But because of the goodness of the Lord. He picked us up and told us now come and have a seat at the table. When we first started, somebody talked about the table. And I begin to tell you, you are already in the message. We were in a condition, hallelujah, where they wouldn't even invite us to the supper. We couldn't even come in. But God, who is rich in mercy and amazing in grace, told us to come on up. Come on up higher. Hallelujah. And sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Oh, I bless him today. I bless him today. Hallelujah. And if it had not been for the Lord who was on my side, I'd have died from cirrhosis of the liver. Come on, somebody. That was my condition. I would have died in my sin. That was my condition. But I thank God for the blood today hallelujah that translated me out of darkness into his marvelous light somebody give god praise as i bring this to a close hey karnamosha hallelujah somebody give him praise hallelujah come on and give him praise i'm trying to look for amen hallelujah our altar music glory to god why don't you take a praise break right here hallelujah glory 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 hallelujah thank you jesus oh i bless him today i bless him today this text causes us to remember remember re-dash member remember hallelujah when you think amen you have arrived you better take a look back at kodomo and thank god for his grace and thank him for his mercy for if it had not been for him where would we be Hallelujah. Yes, Shia Nobohosa. Oh, I bless him today. I bless him today. It's a whole lot to manage back here, but I thank God. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's look at the condition a little bit more. Amen. Hallelujah. Because the Bible declares in this passage that we were dead. Hallelujah. In trespasses and sins, walking around dead. Hallelujah. In the natural, amen, I begin to, amen, wonder how, amen, uh, one can be brought back from the dead in the natural. Amen. Now we know our God is supernatural and he can do, all he has to do is speak a word. All he has to do is blow. Hallelujah. The pneuma, the breath of life. Hallelujah. And we live. But when we look at death in the natural, amen, how, how to bring a person back to life. Amen. In the natural, uh, uh, my study said, amen. If you can get the blood flow, if the blood flow, now we're in the natural now amen if the blood flow can be restored amen either by cardiopulmonary resuscitation or cpr or by getting the heart pumping again then the patient come on glory to god then the patient can come back from clinical death I feel God. I feel God. Amen. Now the Bible says first natural and then spiritual. Hallelujah. What did God do? Amen. When we were in our condition, he resuscitated us. He blew the breath of life into us and resuscitated us. And then he gave us his blood. I wish I had a church right here. We received a blood transfusion for our condition then he translated us 
thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. He translated us out of darkness into his marvelous light. And then not only that, he has raised us up from the dead out of trespasses and sins. And watch this, beloved, made us sit together. Hallelujah. We have a seat at the table. He made us sit together. Hallelujah. With Jesus in the heavenly realm. Hallelujah. It may not make sense to you, but I want you to know that when you receive Christ as Lord and Savior, the one who died for you, the one who was hung up for your hangups, uh, the one, hallelujah, they nailed to a tree, the one who became a curse uh, so that you don't have to be cursed, uh, the one who became poor so that you could be rich, uh, the one who died so that you could live. Uh, might not make sense uh, that our body is here, but our position, uh, hallelujah, according to the scripture, we are seated together. Hallelujah. He made us uh, to be seated together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Somebody give God praise. Just give him praise. Uh, this kind of, amen, message, this, this, this passage, amen, just causes you to thank God for all that he done for you. Uh, hallelujah. It's personal this morning. It's personal that he picked me up, turned me around. That's personal. Animal Shanda. And he's not a respecter of persons. Uh, he's not a respecter of persons. Uh, what he done for me, he's going to do for my children children. Uh, hallelujah. What he done for you, he's going to do for your children. Uh, listen, he delivered us. Uh, he took the taste of alcohol away from me. He's taking drugs uh, and the appetite uh, for things that are not like God. Uh, and he's going to do the same uh, for our children. Uh, he's going to pick them up, uh, turn them around uh, and place their feet on solid ground. Ah, uh, thank you, Jesus. Uh, I thank you today that when you look back, uh, hallelujah, I, I heard it said uh, sometimes, amen, we forget, uh, hallelujah, how quick we are to forget. Uh, and we thank glory to God uh, that we have arrived. Uh, and sometimes we think uh, we're suchy muchy, uh, hallelujah, but when uh, you turn back uh, and have a flashback, uh, you begin to rejoice in the fact that grace found you. You can rejoice in the fact that grace met you right where you are. The songwriter said, amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see somebody give God praise for grace uh, and the twin uh, mercy uh, grace found me grace located me but mercy kept me uh, mercy is keeping me uh, the Bible says surely uh, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days uh, of my life uh, and I'm gonna dwell uh, I'm gonna stay right there uh, I'm going to dwell in the house of the Lord. It was the house of the Lord. I was in the house of the Lord when I called on the name of Jesus. I got down on my knees and I began to cry unto Jesus. Lord, save me. Lord, help me. Lord, clean me up. Hallelujah. And I'm going to stay right there in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Somebody give God praise right here. Hallelujah. The condition. Hallelujah. Now we know what our condition was. And we thank God nobody could have done it but him. Hallelujah. Thank God for the blood of Jesus that washes us whiter than snow. 
Jesus said, create in me a clean heart and renew a right spirit within me. What are you praising for, Kim? I thank God, hallelujah, that my condition, hallelujah, has nothing to do with my position. You know, people are fighting and scammering after titles and positions. When this is the position, hallelujah, we need to make sure that we're in, that we are seated in Komosha together with Christ Jesus in heavenly places. I don't understand it, but I believe it. I don't understand it. It don't make sense sometimes, but I believe it because the Bible said your body is sitting there in that chair. Hallelujah. But as I see it, God said, you got a reservation in heaven. The table is there. Your chair is there. Amen. Your name is on the chair. It's been reserved for you. You are already right now seated together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. I give him praise. And when it's time, hallelujah, we'll be called to the supper, amen, the, 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 the supper of the lamb, glory to God. I think about, amen, hallelujah, I think about, amen, uh, Mephibosheth, glory to God, amen, I ain't gonna tell the whole story, amen, but you know he had an issue, amen, he was handicapped, and in the Bible, glory to God, amen, people looked down on those that had a handicap, they thought they, they in their mind, they were cursed, amen, they wasn't gonna get invited, hallelujah, but they went looking for Mephibosheth, hallelujah, and everything, all of the royalty, amen, was given to him, amen, and he was told to come and have a seat at the table, come on, and, and as I see it in my mind, the tablecloth, pure white, hung down and covered his condition, somebody give God praise, I gotta go, I thank God, I thank God that he didn't leave me, in my condition, he came in just in time. Y'all know he came in just in time. I believe, amen, I wouldn't even be here Hadabashanda, today to give God glory if he hadn't have came in, if grace hadn't have found me, hallelujah, and then mercy kept me. Somebody give God praise today in this place, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, yada boho sha. Yes, God. Your grace and mercy brought me through. I'm living this moment. Be of you I want to thank you oh, and praise you too hallelujah your grace and mercy I'm living this moment. Yes, God. Thank you for saving a sinner like me to tell the world 
Salvation is free. Salvation is free. There were times when I I just didn't do right. My God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank God for the word of God today. Thank God for every testimony, every praises to our God. Amen. And we thank God for all of you that watched with us, worshiped with us on Facebook. Amen. And if there's someone out there today, amen, that may be hearing my voice and you are without Christ. Amen. Maybe there's some backslider. Amen. You once, you once ran well amen and something got you off task listen amen this is your invitation to come on back amen come on back bring it bring it back in can nobody do us like jesus can amen without him amen the text let us know that we are dead we were dead amen but now we've been made alive he has quickened us that's what quicken means amen we were dead we thought we was living some of us thought amen i'm living my best life but in the eyes of god without him you are dead in sins and trespasses how do you change that condition amen you gotta surrender Amen. You got to surrender and recognize, Lord, I done made a mess of everything. That's what I did. Can't handle life. Can't do it on my own. I need you to come in and save me, cleanse me, amen, from the lust of the flesh and all of these things that are not like you. I surrender, God. You take control of the rest of my life. Hallelujah. He gave us the best of his life. And you take control of the rest of my life. 
And all you have to do, the Bible says in Romans chapter 10, uh, verses 9 and 10, that if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Christ is who he said he was, that he was born, that he was hung up for your hangups, that he bore your sin on a cross, and most important, on the third day, he rose with all power in his hands. You believe that, beloved? Invite him to come in and he'll save you today. Amen. Amen. We never want to go away. Pastor Grace used to say, no service, none is complete without giving you the invitation for participation in the reason for your creation. Glory.